technique of vaccination in the arm. So how do we do the technique of injection or vaccination in the arm? You know where is the landmark? This is where we are going. You're going to give the vaccine to the non-dominant arm. Sterilize the skin and use a needle, which is one, one and a half inches in length. The needle will be between 20 to 25 gauge needle. We're going to use the Z-Track technique. Hold the skin 2 to 3 centimeter away from the injection site with the non-dominant hand. You're going to pull the skin to one side. Then we insert the needle at 90 degree angle. Make sure you don't advance the needle deep to touch the bone. Then we inject the medication. We withdraw the needle. Then we release the skin. This Z-Track technique allows the injection track to seal as the skin is released. It reduces pain and minimizes skin irritation and inflammation and prevent leakage of the medication into the subcutaneous tissue and that will decrease the local irritation. The new guidelines are that Squeezing the muscle from front to back is not necessary, and the Z-Track technique is helpful. Wearing gloves is optional, and aspiration may not be necessary. Aspiration may be painful, and in reality, no large vessels are present in the vicinity of the proper site of injection. The posterior circumflex humeral artery arises from the axillary artery and runs with the axillary nerve through the deltoid region. And it is rare to injure that artery during deltoid injection because the injection is usually superficial, not deep. The posterior circumflex humeral artery is deep and is close to the bone. Do not inject deep to the bone. Vaccination is safe. Complications from vaccination is extremely rare. The most common complication is serva. So what is serva? Serva is a shoulder injury related to vaccine administration. It can happen if the vaccination is too high or too deep. Serva occurs due to injection of the vaccine into the shoulder capsule rather than the deltoid muscle. If the injection is given too high, the injection can go into the shoulder joint capsule. Serva is connected to injection of the vaccine into the shoulder joint, the shoulder joint capsule, or rotator cuff. Serva usually can occur even if the vaccine is administered properly. The patient may have predisposition to this reaction, means this is how the patient's body reacts to vaccination. It presents itself in the form of pain, inflammation, swelling, decreased range of motion, and it usually temporary. It heals after a few months. Soreness in the arm after vaccination can last a day or two, and that's not unusual. But with serva, the pain and the soreness and decreased range of motion will last longer. The condition may cause chronic pain that lasts for a long time. The symptoms usually begin within 48 hours of vaccine administration, and they don't improve with simple analgesic medications. These patients usually visit their doctors many months because of chronic shoulder pain, and they are usually diagnosed with bursitis, tendinitis, rotator cuff tears, or adhesive capsulitis. Refreshing the knowledge of the proper landmarks and the injection technique is important and also increase awareness of identifying patients who are showing signs of serva. This can help to treat the patient early. 
Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.